So you may have been hearing something about a there's some sort of controversy about Brandon K Sanderson and Kickstarter, or maybe you know the details, uh, but I have heard so much reaction to this it, uh, that I formed opinions of my own. And then I saw something recently that made me feel like I wanted to actually yeah. record those opinions and share them with you. So here's the deal, as we say, uh, Sanderson is a very popular and prolific writer who put out a Kickstarter uh, in early March that so far has raised, uh, at the time I began thinking about recording this, it was $33 million, but it's just about to tick over into $34 million. So $34 million. That's amazeballs, in my opinion. So one of the reactions that I kept seeing expressed, sometimes directly, sometimes in other language, is that Sanderson was a traitor to publishing because publishers depend on what they call BNAs, big name authors, and the profits that they generate to then fund advances for smaller or SNAs. Uh, and so Brandon was screwing all those uh, smaller authors by not agreeing, not selling uh, the book to the publisher so they could take their cut. So that argument is complete and utter bullshit. And I'm now going to give you four reasons why. First and foremost, any argument that says a writer has a duty to a corporation that they do not own is bullshit. Uh, corporations are certainly legally human beings. We know that from a very weird court case. But if they are human beings, those human beings are soulless entities whose ethical algorithms are driven by capitalism, codified by capitalism. Corporations do not provide advances to non-BNAs for altruistic reasons. This may come as a shock to you. They do it for financial reasons. It is the equivalent of placing a number of low stakes bets hoping that some of those writers or one of those writers will turn into the Brandon Sanderson that then makes it all worthwhile. That money put into small name authors is determined by marketing formulas, like well-researched marketing formulas. Okay, two, the writing existence is precarious. It is one month you got a hefty advance and you're like, oh, and then the next month you're like, oh God, I, I don't have a lot. All I have is, oh, that luckily my Patreon is pushing me through this month, right? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I just sold that reprint for $100 and can buy groceries this week. I mean, I don't mean, mean to make it sound too dire, but it's an existence that doesn't come with health insurance. It doesn't come with 401ks. It is an existence that you do have to kind of have your shit together in order to make it professionally or work for a university or, you know, you have some side gig that, that pays all the bills. At any rate, so kudos to Sanderson for making it work. That's 
fabulous, in my opinion. You know, jazz hands for you, Brandon Sanderson. I salute you, comrade, from my leftist socialist stance. Anyway, uh, number three, you do the work, you get to decide what happens to it. Is that so insane? Uh, you know, we do have the concept of work for hire, uh, where let's say if I wrote for someone, they might say, here's a lump sum and we get the rights to the work. But one reason why I'm, I'm not, you know, the biggest work for hire person is that uh, I like holding on to my stuff. And so, you know, this also, that 30... Four millions. I need to to look to see whether or not. But you know, that's not just like one book. That's four books, and it's Sanderson. So these are big, fat fantasy novels. But you know, and they're good stuff, right? Um, anyway, four. That money is not sheer profit, right? Uh, that money is going to cover things like the printing of the physical copies, uh, like the production of the audio book, which I'm pretty sure have very nice production values, uh, goes to the swag boxes, right? If you go and look at the Kickstarter, and I'll put the link in the uh, notes, because I think by the time I put this up, there should be like a day or two left on it. Uh, you know, you're getting some value for that. And not only uh, are there physical objects involved, but whenever you have to move physical, physical objects from point A to point B, I got to tell you, it can get freaking costly. Uh, if you are in the U.S. and you try to ship something up to Canada, for example, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is just costly, costly, costly. So that's, that's, you know, am I saying that, that, you know, like, oh, it's 12 million instead of 34 million or whatever. Yeah, well, actually, that's a kind of different chunk, right? Uh, anyway, so Sanderson has not, you know, published furious denunciations on his website. Instead, he has done something that I think is pretty classy. And I will link to the video for that, but it's 30 minutes of him going through and funding every publishing project on Kickstarter. Uh, you want to talk about supporting other authors, that's a pretty substantial uh, use of that money in a way that's a lot better than him being like, I'm now going to take I don't know, I'm going to buy the moon. I mean, he doesn't seem like the sort of guy who'd be like, I'm going to buy the moon. I'm going to buy a mountain, you know, no, he's, he's actually kind of doing something awesome with that and putting that money back into the community. So my solicited, uh, unsolicited opinion about all of this, but people keep asking me about it. And I just saw that uh, Kickstarter video, which is 30 minutes of going through and funding Kickstarter projects. So, you know, boy, I think that's a really nice thing to do. And it is a really classy thing to do. So my unsolicited opinion on one of the aspects of fantasy and science fiction community and culture, which unfortunately we are never lacking in issues that one can comment on. So if you enjoyed this commentary and found it worthwhile or instructive or entertaining, please like or subscribe or drop me a comment or whatever. Uh, but the thing that drives whether or not I want to share my opinion is whether it's kind of interesting to me to hear what you have to say about it. All right, so I hope you will have a lovely week. Thanks so much.